Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my crafting life for the past week. What have I been up to? Well, I've been quite busy at work, but I did buy some yarn this week, so I have a little acquisition to share with you. Some finished objects, plus I have finished my second project in Gifts of Kindness, and I'll share that with you. So, let's get started. Acquisitions, the first yarn I have bought in 2024. And I bought it because it's yarn I have never stopped or had in my yarn stash, or for that matter, really used. I may have used it once in a blanket. But I decided after watching a lot of Amagurumi videos, I wanted to give it a try. So I'll share it with you what I bought. First of all, a lot of Amagurumi videos I watched, they use a blanket yarn. And I thought, oh, well, our big store had a sale on. I might go and see what blanket yarn we have there. And Spotlight didn't have a lot, but they did have one. They had Modavira Blanky, this one. Now this was normally $18 a ball and I got it for $12 in the sale. I'm looking for my glasses. <gasps> Won't be a moment. Okay, we're finally organized. I'm having one of those days where I just brain fade and forgetful again. So it's made by Spotlight. Um, requires an eight millimeter knitting needle. Doesn't say crochet hook. And there's 150 meters per 300 gram ball. It's 100% polyester color blush, pale pink. There wasn't a lot left, I guess, when it goes on special because there isn't a lot of blanket yarn on sale there. Normally, anyway, um, it goes really quickly. It's made in India. So I'm going to be trying this in Amagurumi. And I have no blanket yarn in my yarn stock at all. So wish me luck. I also thought there's a... I guess you call it a discount store. It's independently owned and privately owned here. It's called the Madhouse. It's like, I guess, a bit more upmarket than a dollar store. We have Silly Sollies. I think it's a bit more upmarket than Silly Sollies, but it's still lower end market. And I have been hiring off this yarn, which is microfiber chunky knit. They say it's a three ply, it's a hundred gram ball but it looks like blanket yarn to me. Now, there's not a lot of information on the label. It's made in China, 100% um, polyester and microfiber. There's no knitting needle size. There's no yardage size, so I don't know how much is in a ball. And the color is mint, and I bought two. I bought the mint, this one, yet again to try for Amagurumi's and this one which is pink mix which is white and pink that might glare in this light sunlight here is coming and going we've had a lot of rain let me know if you've ever tried this yarn um if especially if you live in australia and you're an australian crafter and let me know what you think but i certainly will let you know what i think i'm going to make amigurumis with those three acquisitions and that was it. I resisted temptation to buy more yarn in the sale. I am determined to keep using up what I have this year. So, finished objects. Well, of course, it's Bod Hat a Palooza, and I was looking forward to this week's hat. And I made one because I have made it before years and years ago. I even managed years ago when a friend asked me to make a toddler size to get it down to a toddler size he was a little boy she wanted this green and I think I used like a three weight yarn and like a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and got it down to the size to fit him so about Bod had a Palooza was the Joshua tree hat now I found it harder going with my old hands in the bigger size but I didn't have enough Heartland yarn like um, crystal use so I used a touch of alpaca and that's it there it is a slouch beanie 
the touch of alpaca even though I did it exactly to the tutorial isn't as slouchy as hers but I have made this hat several times and the slouch can really depend on what yarn you use what hook you use I use the 5.5 millimeter and a touch of alpaca I have that much left from a ball used a bit um, it's called blush rose I've got quite a bit of this in my stock um, it's like I don't know 95 percent 90 percent acrylic 10 percent alpaca and yes I thought I would use some of that up and just put it in my bag of hats for when I go to the markets it's turned out quite nice so I don't mind it in the touch of alpaca so with that in mind, I went looking for some Heartland yarn in my stock and I started this hat thinking I saw two balls when I went looking, but I didn't. This was leftover yarn. So I have caught what I call the Joshua tree sapling because it's missing an actual full round like that. It should be another round longer, but it fits okay. And it's quite a nice beanie as it is with a little slouch. And I made that in leftover Heartland. And no, I didn't have a second ball. But I still think I can put that in to either donate to charity. It fits nice. It looks like a normal beanie. All I did when I realised I wasn't going to have the yarn, I just, I did to there and then I extended the brim out to make it long enough and used up every little skerrick of Heartland, which... Talking about Heartland, this is the really original first one that I loved and did a review on. And recently I had a comment on the review from all those years ago saying that she hated the Heartland yarn. It was so splitty. She'd never use it again. Ra ra ra. And the label was different and I realised that Heartland now is very different to the Heartland way back when it was this, which is four medium weight and I'm just trying to see where it was made dun, 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 made in the USA imported fiber so this one was made in USA so I don't know where the new heartland is made I do know some of the spotlight yarns that were moved from Turkey to India completely changed the color wasn't as strong the fiber wasn't as good so that could be it. The newer Heartland could be being manufactured somewhere to a different recipe. But I did like this particular Heartland. But that is the last Heartland I have in my stock. Will I buy more? No, I'm reducing the amount of stock I keep on hand. I have far too much. So that was the second beanie I did. And then one night in front of the television... I've been watching, I'm a big fan of the True Detective series and I've been watching the latest one that's been released here with Jodie Foster. I love Jodie Foster, I think she's a great actress. And I was watching that one night and I thought, oh, I'll just freestyle a beanie. And I grabbed a ball of Ferris wheel that Janice, my Janice in Melbourne gave me. She gave me a couple of these. Now these are 80 gram balls and they are a full weight. And I thought, oh, I'll just crochet beanie off the top of my head I don't know which pattern it was because I think it was just me but there you go that was my freestyle Ferris wheel beanie in front of the true detective which is currently this series in is, is in Alaska which is probably where I think I should call this my true detective beanie but there you go it turned out pretty good. I was just freestyling it. I don't know whether it was muscle memory from something else. I can't recognize it, but there's my Ferris wheel hat. And that used most of the 85 gram ball because I did use a five millimeter crochet hook. And um, it's a bit bigger than I would normally make as far as head circumference. On this head, there's a bit of a slouch and you do get a little slouch. I really like the way the pattern turned out with the yarn. I think I have one more ball of Ferris wheel left in my stock from Janice. So thank you. Another gift of kindness that worked out really well. So I've made three beanies. Why three beanies? Well, Coco's Crochet Cal 2024 is this fortnight is 
beanies. We make beanies. That's what came out of her drawer. And yeah, beanies always come in handy for donations to charity, to give away to people. I sell them, can sell them cheap on my charity store. And it is a great way of using up those, you know, half skeins, three skeins that you haven't fully used on a beanie. You just pick the right pattern. I probably will make some more beanies this week. Let's see what Bod Hatterpalooza is. That was a great choice. I do like the Joshua Tree hat. All the links to any um, patterns or videos will be in the description below for you to check out. So, that was my hats. And a couple of weeks ago, I drew another bag out of my Gifts of Kindness. I think I have about 10 on the wheel. And I worked out nine of them are crochet, one of them is knitting. And mainly the knitting project, is, if it ever comes up, is going to take me a very long time to do because it's quite complicated. Um, there is some yarn on there with no pattern attached to it, like in a bag that was given to me, that will be decided on if it comes out in the drawer. So I think it was, let me look at my notes, bag. I think it was bag number three that came out. Anyway, the Gifts of Kindness was some beautiful everyday premier DK weight anti-pilling yarn. My favourite DK premier anti-pilling. I love it. It's so soft, so easy to work with. I like it. I'm notorious for splitting yarn and I don't find I get too much splitting with this. So there was quite a bit. But would you like to see what I made? Well, I made several attempts to make a baby blanket. Two I started and didn't like and frogged. But the third one I hit on, I do like the way it's turned out. I think it's really pretty and it's a great unisex blanket. So there you have it. The Call the Midwife Butterfly Variation Blanket. I made that one. It's quite big with a lovely border. It's got V-stitch with a shell border. Hopefully I'll be able to put a pattern at the end to show you. But it turned out really nice. Um, I limited the amount of brown I put in there. I think it's in there three times like that. But yes, oh, it's actually called peach, but it's quite a tan color. So out of the balls I used, I used 420 grams. I have 80 grams of scraps left and I have four more balls left. Blue, peach, white and another peach. But in my craft cleanup again yesterday when I went looking for something, I found more yarn that Janet LaPray sent me. So maybe in pink bag which came out, I may have to put the other yarn and put it back into the rotation of the drawer. So with this being finished, the idea was I'd get at least four done in 2024 and that's number two. So I am doing quite well, especially if they're crocheting, they work up faster. I've made the call the midwife before, the traditional one. I've sold it in my Etsy shop. It's, it's very popular. I just thought I'd do the butterfly version um, as a bit different and the fact that we're having so much rain that after the rain stops we get a lot of butterflies in the garden and yesterday we had a swarm of dragonflies usually you see one or two but they were just everywhere so brought to us by the rain so that's why I did that one so thank you Janet greatly appreciated love the blanket may put it in my Etsy shop to sell and donate the money to charity I'll sell it on my craft store. Don't know any babies coming my way at the moment. Okay, with that in mind, I had to spin the wheel again and draw something out of uh, the Gifts of Kindness. Now remember, the Gifts of Kindness wheel has project bags with yarn and a pattern. Either the yarn was donated or the pattern or both. Some just have yarn with the pattern to be decided if they come up. So the one that came up was it number, I can't remember what number, but it was the blue polar bear bag. And when I went to get it, I'm thinking, that's a big bag. That has got a big project in it. 
This was a bag made by Suze in um, Western Australia. She made this especially for me. It was a custom order because I love polar bears. I'll put a link to her Etsy shop in the description below. I'm not sure if she's got anything in there at the moment, but she does make beautiful bags. So I've resisted the urge to look till I share it with you guys. So, ah, I can tell by the yarn. The pattern, it's a gifted pattern. It's the Cafe Beverage Cardigan, and it was gifted by Laura at Mad Meanies Crochet and Farming. Let's see if I can find a picture. Now, when I went to the UK, I looked everywhere for yarn for this. There it is. I'll just do a quick look. It is fitted, but I will probably make it a little looser than fit. I don't really like fitted cardigans. It's crochet. Yay! Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. Designed by Emily Davis. I've put a link to it. It was a paid for four pattern on Ravelry and it was gifted to me by Laura at Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet. So all that time in the UK and I couldn't I took the pattern with me and I couldn't find anything I liked. I decided I would use the yarn I originally bought to do it in, which is a Karen skinny cake. I have three of these. I picked them up on special I saw like the pinky grey colour and it is called Cookies and Strawberries. Not Cookies and Cream, but Cookies and Strawberries. That one, I've got three in here, that's why it's so big, which will more than amply make this cardigan. So there you have it. Now just to get the sizing right, because I, I always make them too big. It's a three weight, Karen Skinny Cakes. Do you know I've never used a Karen Skinny Cake? This will be my first time. So wish me luck. My next project of Gifts of Kindness, we will see how long it takes me. Being a cardigan and my first attempt, I have made a hexy cardigan before, but I even made that big enough to fit two of me. Um, this will be my first real crochet pattern cardigan. I think I saw the pattern on Iona's toy box. I think she made it, she made it fitted and that's why I fell in love with it. But I wouldn't make it fitted. Um, it does say it's a fitted pattern if you want it a bit looser, go up a size. I remember that. I remembered I could go up a couple of sizes, it still look fine loose. So there you have it. That's about it for me today. I've got stuff everywhere as you can see. I am a little over the rain. I'm having bad rain hair day, as you can tell. That's normal. So I did see something in the week, and the word was sable, and it means stash acquisitioned beyond life expectancy by Stephanie Pearl McPhee. I thought that was pretty good, a sable of yarn. I have been working on my knitting projects they are coming close to an end. Knitting is so much slower than crocheting. And I have been working on some little AMI projects during February, and I'll probably do an, just an end of month AMI Gurumi scrap video of what I've been using. And if I do make, I'm thinking maybe make a leggy froggy with this, see how it goes, I'll let you know. And if you've used it, let me know. Until next time, stay safe. Stay well and make sure you have one crafty day this week. Bye for now.